In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this letter portraits using Photoshop. So let's get started. Hey what's up guys, Droil here back with another video and as you can see this is the final output. Now we will create two different versions of it. One is you can see right now and the another one is going to be this. So as you can see they both look identical with a little bit of difference and the same way there is little bit difference in how we create them. So we will see both of them. First let's start with the letter V. So to do that I'm gonna go to file, open and select the base photo that I want, uh, that I wanna use. I'm gonna open it. First of all, double click on the background and unlock it. Now in this method, you will have to do entire cutout of the photo. So I'm going to select the quick selection tool here, right click quick selection and I'll make a selection of the model. We don't have to worry about this bottom part. We are not going to use it, but if your photo needs it, do the cutout properly. So the selection is done and after that, go and click on this layer mask icon. So the background is gone. Now here I'm not spending too much time in perfecting the selection but I would highly recommend that you take your time uh, and do the selection properly. So the selection is done here and after that uh, we need to add a white background. So I'm gonna go and create new blank layer from here, second last icon. Then put this layer one under our model. Then right click here and select your paint bucket tool and in the color here make sure you have white color. So you can click here on this button. So you have black and white colors, then just flip them and you have white color. Fill it. Now temporarily I'm gonna go and hide the eye of this layer 0 and we will type in the letter. So select your type tool and in the font I'm using Georgia. So click here and type the words. I'm gonna type V. The font is white right now so you cannot see it. To change it, double click on this thumbnail here. Go to your color option and then change it to black so we can see it for now. Hit OK. Now we need to make it bigger. So you can do it manually or you can press Ctrl T, hold your shift key and then drag it from a corner so it will make it bigger. This is much more convenient and gives you a lot more idea like how bigger you want. Then go and confirm it. After then we need to make sure that it's in center. So I'm gonna press Ctrl A, uh, then select my move tool, then you will have this options. So select the second one and then second last one. So it's in complete center. Now to remove the selection, go to select and deselect. Okay, we are going good. After then, turn on your layer zero here, make it active. Then press Ctrl T, right click and select flip horizontal because I want the model to face this way. After then, hold your shift key and make it smaller, something like this and put her here. So don't worry about the size, keep experimenting, then go and confirm it. Now as you can see the black V doesn't look that great due to her black dress. So I'm gonna change the color of it. So activate the V layer, then double click on the thumbnail. Go to your color options here. And in the color code, I'm gonna add FF3019. So it's bit orangish red and then go and hit OK. Now the reason why I selected this color because it complements her black dress really nice. You can experiment however you like. So now again, activate your layer zero here. And before you resize her now, just reduce the opacity so you can have basic idea like how much area you are going to have here. So as you can see, I'm gonna go and put her a bit here, then press Ctrl T and make her a bit more smaller. So I think this looks good enough, then go and confirm it. And now you can also make the opacity 100%. Now what we need is to remove area that is exactly outside of this V here. So to do that, we need to make a uh, selection of the V. So hold your control key and click on the thumbnail of V here. So it will make selection of it. Now things we wanna remove are actually outside. So I'm gonna go to select and then inverse. So outside area is selected. Now you can simply remove it since we have layer mask. So activate your layer mask here, get yourself a brush tool and in the color, since we wanna remove it, make sure it's black color. Then go and start removing it like this. Now in case you remove something and you want to bring it back, you can simply switch to white color here and then you can bring it back. So it's up to you. So I'm going to switch back to black and then remove it. Now I can actually remove this portion of hat, but it looks really good. So I decided to keep it. Now to get rid of the selection, you can go to select and then deselect. So as you can see, the cutout looks really good and it matches very well with the letter. Now we will do some adjustment but before we do that I'm gonna group these two things. 
So make sure layer zero is active, then hold your control key and select layer B, then press control G and both of them are in a group. After then, you can simply press Ctrl T, hold your Alt and Shift key, and then make it bigger like this. So I think a little bit bigger would be nice, not that big though. Okay, that looks nice, confirm it. And I'm also gonna adjust it a little bit, so. Okay, this looks good. Now, as you can see, the original photo of model is really underexposed. So what I'm gonna do, first of all, create new adjustment layer, and then select Vibrance to add a little bit more color. So I'm gonna keep it somewhere around like 30-40% looks good and after that I'm gonna create another adjustment layer and this time I will select brightness contrast and increase the brightness so maybe somewhere around like 30-40% looks nice close it and for final change I'm gonna create another adjustment layer and then select levels now you won't have to do it with every image I'm doing it because this particular image is underexposed okay so don't worry about it and then i'm gonna go and drag my mid a little bit this way so we have a bit more light in the photo uh, so i think this looks good 1.10 and then close it now let's add those text up and down so it makes the effect whole the letter alone looks a little bit too simple so i'm gonna go and select my type tool and start typing so first of all let's type letter and also we want to type in capital so turn on your caps lock key and then type it select your move tool and then move it a little bit here you can actually do the same thing uh, you can press ctrl a uh, then go and select second one oops this one so it's in center the second last one and then remove the selection go to select and deselect now we need to make it smaller and add more spacing so for that double click on this t then go and click on this box here and here first of all I'm gonna make the letter smaller uh, a bit more okay so this is good enough and after that we need to increase the spacing so don't worry about the numbers here just uh, do whatever looks good on your screen on your project okay so I'm gonna go and keep it somewhere around here so I think somewhere around 2000 is good then go and confirm it and close it I'm gonna bring it down a little bit so hold your shift key and then bring it bring it down so it doesn't go anywhere else now let's make a copy of it so press ctrl J and again hold your shift key and then drag this one down so we have a copy of same letter now all we have to do is change the word so I'm gonna double click on this thumbnail here and after that type in portrait then go and confirm it so the effect is ready and you can do as many variations as you want. So this is done, now let's see how you can do it with the clipping mask. So for that I'm gonna go to file, open and this time I'm gonna select different photo and then open it. And just like the last time double click on the photo, unlock it and this time let's flip it in the beginning. So I'm gonna press ctrl T, right click and flip horizontal so she's looking other way, confirm it. Now hide it for now now let's add the white background so for that go and create new blank layer from here select your paint bucket tool make sure you have white color and then fill it now we cannot see the logo right now because caps lock key is on so if i turn it off we can see the bucket no big deal so the white background is ready and after then let's type the word so i'm gonna select my t click here and i'm gonna type in the word z but uh, I also need this one in capital. So I'm gonna hold my caps lock key again. Sorry, just press it. You don't have to hold it. So turn on your caps lock, then press Z. So we have capital Z, confirm it. Now again, press control T, hold your shift key and make it big, something like this. Now let's add the photo. So select your layer zero and put it on top of your Z. Turn on the I so we can see it. Now obviously we need to resize the photo and we will do that before we create the clipping mask. So we have idea like what the hell are we doing. So to do that go and reduce the opacity a little bit so we can see the Z in the background. So maybe 50% is good. Then let's resize it. So I think this looks good then go and confirm it. Now we can make the opacity full again, so make it 100% and now let's also turn it into a clipping mask. So right click here and then select create clipping mask. So the photo will only show up inside the Z. Now comes the tricky part, so pay attention. 
what we need to do is make a copy of this layer 0. So activate the layer 0, then press Ctrl J. So we have a copy, right? It's not clipping mask and that's perfect. So first of all, reduce the opacity a little bit. Now what we need here is only this little portion as you can see here. So we will make selection of it and you can do it with any tool that works for your photo. So for this, I'm going to select magnetic lasso. So right click here and then select magnetic lasso tool. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out from here as you can see, because if we take the entire neck and the back, it doesn't look good. I only want the face here. So I'm going to go and start making selection from here and take your time. Don't rush it. Now let's say if you want to zoom when you are in between the selection, you can press control plus and it will allow you to zoom in and then you can hold your space key. Then you can move around. It's really convenient when you use magnetic lasso tool. Now let's say if you screw up something and you want to remove it, just simply hit your backspace key and you are good to go. Now let's go into the selection. Now, let, now I'm going to just finish the selection because the rest doesn't matter. So I'm just going to simply go and finish it. To finish it, just simply double click and it will make a selection. So the selection is ready. Now all we have to do is apply the layer mask. So click on the layer mask here, the third icon and you're good to go. Now let's make the opacity 100% and all we have to do is remove the rest of the area. So for that, uh, activate your brush tool and make sure you have black color since we want to remove it. And also be careful that you are painting on your layer mask. So after then, go and make it a bit bigger. Okay, I'm gonna turn off my caps lock so we can see the size of brush. Uh, okay, good. Now let's go and remove it. And again, if you have trouble seeing like where to remove it, you can reduce the opacity and then remove it. And also you can use it to fine tune your selection. So I think we removed a little bit too much from here. So I can change to white color. Uh, here with my X key and then we can paint it back. Looking good, now make the opacity 100% again and the effect is ready. Now of course if I had a lot of time I will use pen tool and do the entire selection really carefully but one I don't have enough time and second a lot of people here are beginners so I also wanted to show that so I also wanted to show a way that they also can follow. So if you already know how to use pen tool, use that. So that's it. And now all we have to do is some adjustments and letters. So for that, create new adjustment layer. And just like the last time, I'm going to select vibrance and add some color. So I think uh, 40, 30 looks good. Close it. And also I'm going to make it a bit more bright. So for that, create new adjustment layer, select brightness contrast. And I'm going to make it somewhere on like uh, 30%. That looks nice. Then go and close it. Now, finally, let's add the letters just like the last time. The letters are ready and this is the final output. And in case if you want the poster look, you can select your crop tool from here. Then hold your alt key and drag it from one side. So it will crop it from the both side. So put it somewhere around here, then go and confirm it. And also personally, I think that in this effect, the vertical uh, canvas looks a lot better. And let's see if you actually wanted to make a poster out of it, you can simply go to file and create a new A4 size document and you're good to go. So that's it. And this is the final output. I really hope that you guys learned something from this video. And as you can see, here are some other examples that I created using the same method. You can do a lot with this. So I really hope that you learned something. And if you did hit that like button, and if you have any kind of questions or suggestions, feel free to ask me in comment section below. So till then, goodbye, take care and have some fun with Photoshop.